Well, here we are at the conclusion of January 2020. And if you're anything like me, you had big goals, dreams, and aspirations for this being the best year ever. And if you're anything like me, you have utterly failed at some of your things you planned on doing and changing. So now what? You just give up? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video, so stay tuned. What's up, parishioners? This is Chaplain Reese here, and if God done it for me, then He can do it for you too. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have not already, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video where I encourage you to live by faith through Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Holy Ghost. The problem that I see is sometimes people act like January 1st is like a vault that only opens once a year and that if you don't get in that vault, if you don't set your goals, if you don't work every day toward that, then that's the only time of year that you can ever make any change in your life. This is completely false and it's a lie from the devil in hell. It's a lie from your flesh. Don't believe it. Maybe you didn't even set any goals or decide to make any changes for 2020 because you said, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to fail anyway. But let me tell you that if you're not moving forward and you're going backwards and backsliding is not an option for the child of God. The good news is and what this video is all about is to tell you that it is not too late. Um. To tell you it's not too late. You can start right now to go forward with the things of God that makes you a better Christian, that makes you a better parent, that makes you a better church member, that makes you a better son or daughter, that makes you a better worker, a better student. All of these things can come to pass in your life and you can start right now. And I don't mean maybe. And maybe the goal that you set really didn't mean as much to you as you thought. And that's why you have failed. But that's why you have to have a why to keep you going. What does that mean, Chaplain Reese? I don't understand. What that means is you have to have a reason behind what you are doing. You have to have a reason behind this sacrifice that you're making or it will not be important to you because you don't see the big picture. You see right here and right now. You see the instant gratification. But can I tell you one of the problems with instant gratification is that instant gratification can lead to eternal damnation. And I don't mean maybe. I said I want to read 10 chapters in the Bible every single day. But it can be so wearisome reading the Bible for an hour. It can be something that's so easy to give up. But if I say I need to read the Word of God because I'm a minister, because I'm a child of God, and I want to get closer to God, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. It is a must if I want to move forward with God, if I want to be able to minister to people, if I want to be fed of the bread from heaven, I have to read the Word of God. There's a lot riding on this, folks. Well, when you put it that way, I guess it really is important. So let me ask you, parishioners, what is your why behind your goal? And sometimes the problem is you set your standard too high. You set your goal too high. Check this story out. This is a guy that had a obtainable goal. This is Kirk Cousins, the pro football player, quarterback for the Vikings. He put out a tweet the other day that said it has taken him two years, but he read all the way through the Bible. This is a little over a chapter and a half a day, probably 15 minutes a day. You can do this too. So if you have failed, what are some ways that you can set your standard a little bit lower on your goals and continue on right now today and say, hey, I'm going to do this. It may not be as big as I wanted it to be, but I'm going to do it. You're going to have 
setbacks, but you need to step up. You're going to experience problems, but you have the power within you to overcome those problems. You may grow weary, but the will, will, will that is inside of you can go forward and overcome that weariness all the way to the end. Fulfill the will of God for your life. You're going to experience fear, but keep moving forward. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Thou art with me. I asked myself the other day, why is it that bad habits are so easy to pick up, but good habits are so difficult to start? And bad habits are so hard to quit, and good habits are so easy to to lay down. Why is that? One of the things that your goals, your dreams, desires, and you moving forward is determined by is your habits. You're going to have to break your will and break some of those bad habits, and you're going to have to push through to start some good habits in your life. You've got to write them down. You've got to write down what you want. At the beginning of the year, I wrote all of this down of what I wanted to do almost every day to design and shape my life for the glory of God. I have not kept all of these every day. I have failed over and over, but I have them written down and I can go back and look at them and say, hey, I've always got tomorrow. And I don't mean maybe. Here is a good example of this. You see, I've got all of these books right here. I've got three shelves of books, but two shelves of these books. These are Most of these are Andrew Murray books, paperback books I bought for really cheap. He's one of my favorite authors. And I said I'm going to read a little bit out of that book every day. I want to read a whole book, if, if I can, every week, one book. Guess what? I've, I've read 10 chapters in the Bible every day, and I haven't had time to read Andrew Murray, so I have failed. But last night, something strange happened. All of my family was occupied doing something else, so I grabbed the Andrew Murray book, and I began reading. And as I sat there, I read a lot of the book. And not only that, I read the book, and it encouraged me to continue forth with some of the goals that I set at the beginning of the year. And that's what happens when you begin to go forward and not give up. Even if you fail, your goals begin to build off of one another. It's like a snowball and you get strength going downhill. The third thing that you have to do to accomplish your goals, dreams, and aspirations is you have to trust God. If you're doing this for the glory of God, the devil is going to fight you. The world is going to fight you. And most of all, your flesh is going to fight you. They don't want to see you go forward with God. They don't want to see people inspired. I've got a setback just last week when I made an inspiring video about how God can deliver a homosexual. And somebody reported it. It got taken down off of YouTube. And not only that, I got a community guideline strike against my channel. If I get two more, they're going to shut me down. I appealed it and told them, hey, it wasn't offensive. It wasn't hate speech. But they kicked it back anyway and said, yes, it was. The video's gone forever. There's going to be setbacks. There's going to be problems. You're going to be discouraged. But ask God to help you. The law of Moses. It was given as a guideline to live, to give the children of Israel a better quality of life. But it's also there to show us that we cannot do it on our own. We need help. And that help can only come from Jesus Christ. When you have a goal, an aspiration, or a desire to go forward with something in life, you cannot do it on your own. You need to get down on your knees and say, God, I need you to help me. I need you to send the Holy Ghost, another comforter, to bring me through this because I'm tired of where I'm at. The next thing is don't give up. When I was in the army, we went on ruck marches. I had shin splints. My calves were hurting. My back was hurting. I had that rucksack, that cavalar, that weapon in my hand. 
It, I was so tired. I was so weary. I wanted to give up. I wanted to fall out. I wanted the truck to pick me up. I was tired. I wanted to fall out of line. I wanted to quit and give up. But you know what happened? I continued to put one foot in front of the other. There were times when I had to step out of line and people started passing me up. But I got right back in line and I finished my course. I don't know what your goal, dream, desire is. I don't know what you need to do. What is missing in your life that you want to be there? You may fall. You may fail. But keep putting one foot in front of the other and going forward and say, God, I need you to help me. Make sure that you draw inspiration from other people that have already done it. Or is it did it? You have a whole book of inspiration. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. It's profitable for you. It also says, wherefore seeing we also have such a great cloud of witnesses. There are people that have gone on before you that have done it. William Carey said, expect great things from God. Attempt great things for God. Take a step of faith and believe God and draw inspiration from others. I officiated a funeral in BB, Arkansas. After the funeral, a lady came up to me, an elderly lady. She was probably close to 80 years old and she told me how she had worked for hospice as a hospice nurse and the amazing part about this story was that she had been out of school for many years maybe 30 years and at 50 years old she went to nursing school she said it was hard it was difficult but she became an rn at 50 years old and then she shared stories about how she dealt with patients and helped people and she was so proud of what she had done. And even now being close to 80 years old, she works in Pine Bluff, Arkansas for a sitter company where she trains young ladies who go in people's homes and sit with these patients. My wife right now is in nursing school at Baptist Health in Little Rock. It's not easy. They don't just give RN degrees away. It's difficult. But I came straight home and I told her the story and what that little old lady said. She said, tell your wife if I can do it at 50 years old, she can do it too. Parishioners, you need to find somebody who you can draw inspiration from. And I know I'm not much, but God's done a work in my life. And if God and if God done it for me, then he can do it for you too. I promise you that. This is Chaplain Reese signing off. Don't forget to read your Bible and pray every day. Don't forget that I love you and appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. If you were wondering how you can support this ministry, number one, you can give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who it may be beneficial to, and leave a comment and just say, hey, thanks. That'll be a word of encouragement to me. Number two, you can pray for Chaplain Reese and his family. Say, Lord, please help them right now. And number three, if you feel led to give financially, I've got lots of financial needs coming up this year, and it would be greatly appreciated. There's links in the description that can tell you how you can do that. God bless you so much. Just a little fun fact that I have is earlier in the year, I decided that I wanted to be able to complete a Rubik's Cube. I got to working on it, and I got to where I could, I could complete up to here, and I never could get this and then I never could just complete it. I had so many problems, so I gave up on it. And then, after a while, I picked it back up and tried it again. I'd already forgot all the stuff I'd learned, but I relearned it. It was, it was really a neat deal. And then I picked it up again yesterday, and I started to, with the directions that I have, I've got some directions around here somewhere that helped me out. But I actually completed it like three times and I was like, yes, I've got it. Now all I've got to do is remember that. Well, guess what? I, I, something happened and now I can't figure out how to get it. 
and I got discouraged, but I am not going to give up. By the end of the year, I'm going to have this thing. I'm going to keep it to where I can see it. I'm going to practice at it all the time. And that's what you've got to do is you've got to have your goals written down and you have to make sure you revisit them or you'll forget them. So don't give up on it.